Ain't broken or missing. Step up last. You get the gestures. Kill. Not crack broken or missing. It should be always in the upright position. Mm -hmm. Okay. Service door handle is secure. Not crack broken or missing. Service door opens. It closes freely. Your windows are intact. Not crack broken or missing. The rubber seal around your windows and around your service door is intact. Not dry rotted. Killing or missing. Okay. Then you open it. Your stands are free of debris. The tread is not sticking up, creating any tripping hazards. Watch your step sign is legible. Now, stairwell light is intact. Not crack broken or missing. Handrail is secure. Not crack broken or missing. Now you're going to check your stairs. So you check it with thing you do, you hit that, hit your door switch. First aid is secure. You have three unopened packages, mm -hmm. but of course it's going to have seven. Body fluid. Oh, that's, a, that's a nice. You should have one unopened pack. Student mirror is clean, it's intact, it's not broken or missing. The rubber seal around it is intact, not dry rotted. At this time, you let Rhonda know that you need to start your bus back up to finish your test. So you're going to sit down, seat belt, wake your bus, close your door, wait for all your lights to go off except for your park brake, start the bus. Um, now, you're going to cut on your Amber, eight ways. Oh wait, I think they um. Uh, oh snap! I think they fixed the eight ways. No. Nope. Right? It was a yellow one that was out, wasn't it? Yes. No, yeah. the red. Oh, no. It was a red one. Oh. Never mind. We got excited for nothing. It's probably still. <laughs> All right. So in my crossover mirror, I'm checking my amber eight ways. They're working properly. Now you stand up right here. You're gonna let her know that you're checking all of your interior dome lights. They're working properly, they're intact, not crack broken or missing. All your driver windows and passenger windows are intact, not crack broken or missing. At this time, I'm gonna check my seat bottoms and backs that I get to something to talk about. So bottoms, back, bottoms, back, bottoms, back. This brings you to your first emergency roof exit. Emergency exit is legible, not peeling or missing, with instructions on how to use it. If you turn this latch to the right, you would hear an alarm sound, and you can push this hatch onto the roof of the bus. You could also use this for ventilation. Keep in mind that it changes the height of your bus. Okay. Seat bottoms, seat backs, seat bottoms, backs, seat bottoms, seat backs. This brings us to our first set of emergency exit windows. Emergency exit is legible, not peeling or missing, with instructions on how to use it. We lift this red handle, you hear the alarm go off, that window should open freely. Close it back down, it goes off. You will go over here like you're going to do this one, she's going to tell you keep going, because as long as you did it correctly on the first one, she's not going to have you do another one. Seat bottom, seat back, seat bottom, seat back. This brings us to our second emergency roof hatch. I would check this the same way I check the front. Only difference is I'm gonna lift the back to check my strobe light. And your strobe light is working. Seat bottom, seat back. Brings you to your rear emergency door. Your head pad is secure, not crack broken or missing. Emergency exit is legible, not peeling or missing. With instructions on how to use it. This rear emergency exit door should always be secure but unlocked. When I lift this handle, you will hear an alarm sound and I'm gonna check my amber eight in the back. So that's working, okay. Now you turn around, you look down your aisle. It's free of debris. Your tread and track is not sticking up, creating any tripping hazards. You're checking for kids, lost items as you're going back to the front. So left, right, left, right. So you get back to the front. And you 
get back to the front. You sit down and you put your seatbelt on. Now you let Rhonda know I'm going to check my red eight ways. So you open your door. There. Is there missing the yeah, red one? Still out. I'll be there. So you're looking at your crossover mirrors, of course we have one red eight way out. That's never gonna get fixed anytime soon. <laughs> but they're working properly. Your cross arm, if you look in this crossover mirror, you can see that it's fully extended. So your cross arm's fully extended, stop arm is fully extended. Ain't that about nothing. And the light. And it's missing a light too. And that's missing a light. <laughs> okay. Well that's good. You get to do a slip today. <laughs> I told you you would. So stop arm is fully extended. Lights are working properly. And you'd ask Rhonda if she would go to the back and check your back red eight ways. Okay. She may or may not do it. Uh, depends on. <laughs> so now at this point, you close your door and you let her know now you have to deactivate the child check. Because remember, anytime that that stop arm, cross arm comes out, you let the bus know you picked up kids when you got them or not. So with this bus, you take the key with you. And you see how you don't hear no beeping? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have to pay attention to the back two lights. They're going to flash twice to let us know that it reset. See? So that reset the child check. So once again, you're doing the same thing like how you did when you were coming to the front before. You're looking for kids, lost items. When you get about right here, you let her know this finishes the passenger and school bus portion of the test. And now she's going to tell you what you got to test on. So we're just going to do the whole thing like we've been doing. 